Are you using subtasks for your sprints, but only to realize that only your stories can actually have the story points, but your team is estimating everything at the subtask level, but now you can't see the story points at the story level because they're all at the subtask? Well, let me show you how you can roll up all the story point information from your subtask up to the story so that the story will contain the accurate number of the children and then you can successfully use your story to then plan your sprint. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. If you also really do want to help support the channel, you can do so by liking this video as that really does help out with the algorithm. And second, and probably most importantly, is share this video with your team, your admins, your coworkers, your peers, your boss, everybody that you know that not only can benefit from this video, but from having access to over 300 completely free Jira, Confluence, JSM, Atlassian related videos. Let's jump into today's video. Inside of Jira, we have all been there before. I'm gonna jump into a company managed software project. We are in our backlog and we are in the middle of planning out a sprint. And when we go plan our sprint out, and we're bringing in our stories. I'm just going to bring in these stories in here, a couple of them just to make the point here. When we go and start adding story points, when I click here and I come over to add the story points using my story point field, I can put in a five here. So once you put in the story points, it'll show it over here and it'll give you the estimate down here. But if we were to take this story here and we break it out, so we're going to add a couple of subtasks. So I'm going to go, let's see, need front end to support adding in the new widget. So uh, create HTML, create CSS, and create JS. Okay, three simple subtasks. And if I go and estimate these, so if I go over here and I go to the story points field, I'm going to put a five here. I'm going to go to the other one. I'm going to put in a eight on this one. The CSS is hard. And then I'm going to go to another subtask, the JS. And this JS is the hardest out of all. So I'm going to put in a 13 on this one. So when I do that, when I have that, you'll notice that my story points for my story is still completely empty. And this is not very beneficial because when I go back to my backlog and I look at my need front end, you'll notice that it's still empty. And this is a problem because now I can't successfully plan my sprint because all of the subtasks, they have the story points, but the story itself is barren and there's nothing in it. Jira doesn't allow you to use the values from the subtasks or even use the subtasks as the issue types that you're actually planning your sprint with. But a lot of teams do go to that granular level. They do go all the way down to the subtask level and that's where the estimate, because that's really where the boots meet the floor. That's the actual task that's going to be done. But when you're estimating and planning your sprint, you're doing everything a layer up. You're doing it at the story point level. Sorry, you're doing it at the story level. And so this is a very big conflict. And Atlassian doesn't have a pretty way of doing this. But because you're watching this video, I actually have a bit of a solution for you. So I'm going to show you how we can use automation in Jira to roll up those story points that are in those children and give it to the story. That way your story will represent the numbers of its children. And this will work if you add one subtask or a thousand subtasks. It's going to automatically add everything up for you and surface it up to that story. So then when you are doing your sprint planning, you have the right information you need in order to determine your capacities and whatnot. So let's get back into Jira here and let me show you how to do this. So you're going to be able to go to project settings and go to automation. Once you're there, we're going to create a rule. And so the trigger for all this is that we're going to do it on a field. So we're looking for the field. And as you may guess, we're looking for story points. Now, if I type in story, you'll notice that you have story point estimate and story points. Please, please, please don't make this mistake. If you are in a team managed project, you're going to use story point estimates. If you're in a company managed project, which is what you should be using, you're going to use just story points. So we'll select story points and click save. That's all you got to do next, because we don't want this to trigger every time. We only care if the subtasks contain the story points, because if the story contains the story points, we're good. We don't have to do any, any mathematics or any summations or any rollups, right? Because the story point is now in the right place. 
But if the issue type happens to be a subtask, that means that the story point field changed, but it belongs to a subtask, that's when we want to trigger. So we want to filter out everything else. So we're going to add a condition and we're basically going to put a fields condition and we're not going to look for status, but we're going to look for issue type and we're going to check specifically if that issue type equals a subtask. Because again, we don't care if it's anything else, if it's an epic or a story or a task or a bug, we don't care about those. We are only very particularly interested in the subtask type. So once you do that, we can go on to the next one. Now, this is where things get really complicated. This is where things get a little bit more advanced. It's actually, the, the automation rules in Jira are really, really sophisticated. Like you can do some really advanced things. This is just kind of scratching the surface, if you will, right? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this new branch thing. You normally wouldn't think about doing this, but this is gonna be really cool, right? And then we're gonna go to this branch rules related issues over here. And then under types of related issues, we're actually gonna go look for the parent. Now this parent, is the parent we want because there's another parent down here for the epic but this would be if you wanted to do what we're doing right now at the story level up to the epic but because we don't want to go up to the epic we just want to go from the subtask to the story we're going to pick just parent and that's basically going to say hey i'm a child i'm a subtask i want to whatever i'm doing i'm going to influence my parent i'm going to go up and so this is how you can do that relationship of basically tossing and rolling upwards so we'll do that and then now, now that we know, okay, so we have the subtask. We're in the story point of the subtask. This is the trigger. This is where we're at. We're going to send it up. And what are we sending? Well, we want to send up the story points. And so that's where we're going to edit the issue. And here, we're going to do some, some advanced mathematics, if you will. Right? So we're going to edit the issue. And we're going to edit, again, of the parent. Right? Remember, we're in the for parent. We're going to then edit the story points of that parent. Now, this will work whether the parent's a bug or a task or a story doesn't matter, right? But as long as that parent exists, which it has to because the subtask has to have a parent, right? We are not going to type in this code here, which you are more than welcome to copy paste yourself. So sub, and I do have it written here on the side because I don't have it all memorized. So we're going to go to the issue subtasks dot story points dot sum. And this is special. This is very important. Let me break this down for you. What this is doing is it's going to go into all the subtasks for that story. Okay, so it's not just the one subtask we're in. It's gonna actually iterate through all the subtasks and it's gonna find the value in the field story points and it's gonna sum them up, which is what makes this whole thing very magical because this doesn't work for just like one subtask and then rolls it up, right? This is actually, if you change one subtask, it's gonna go through all the subtasks and go, okay, have you changed, have you changed, have you changed? I don't care, if, actually, I don't care if you changed, I'm gonna sum you up. And then I'm going to get this whole bundle and I'm going to toss it right back up to my story. So this is going to work if you have one subtask or a thousand subtasks. It's just going to add them all up automatically on your behalf. So once you do that, you're going to hit save. You're going to call it sum up subtask story points. And then you're going to turn it on. Now, if you watch any of my other videos, you want to double check, go back to your rule details. Make sure that this is only working in one project because at last is very clever. They're very sneaky. Only if you're like on an enterprise do you have like unlimited uh, executions of automation. So if you do this globally, you will hit some limits. So you want to make sure that this scope here is defined to just be that one project. So once you got that going, we're done. We're going to go back to the list. We're actually going to jump back into our project here. So I'm going to click on back to project over here. We're going to go back to our backlog. And now uh, I don't expect this to work immediately, right? Uh, we have to go into back into a subtask. And we do need to update the story point. So this time I'm going to go, you know what? The HTML, it's a walk in the park. We're going to give that one a two. And we're going to hit the check mark. And so once I do that, Jira should be smart enough. Jira should be able to go do a two plus, if you remember the values from the other one, plus an eight. So that's 10. And then they should go back and do the, the third one, which was a 13. So 10 plus 13 is 23. So when I'm at the story level, this number should say 23, which it does. And now when I'm in my backlog, this should say 23, which it does. And so as you can see, it automatically summed up all those children subtasks. I only had to change it once because something has to trigger it, right? And so this is good to have this rule in place and then go do all your planning and stuff and all your estimates because then it'll work better. But once you have that one rule in place, anytime that you change those fields, they're automatically gonna update on your behalf. 
and it's really, really easy and you don't have to worry about it. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you implement it because it is very, very beneficial. Super, super fun thing to have. Here's all the notifications of the automation coming through, telling me that the rule has executed successfully. But anyway, that's it for this video. Again, if you did find value, make sure you smash that like button and that really does help this channel grow tremendously. And if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, like 99% of you don't subscribe. So just hit that subscribe button absolutely free. And most importantly, make sure you share this video with your boss, your coworkers, your Jira admins, your scrum masters, anybody that you think could benefit from being able to have this kind of functionality or access to these hundreds and hundreds of free videos, make sure you share it with them. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.